What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We are going to go over the best low budget snipe filters for you guys. I know a ton of you guys have been asking, yo. Like, I need to make MT. I have no MT. Okay. So, I got the snipe filters for you guys. I'm going to show you some methods and whatnot. Guys, if you could please drop a like. Let's get this video to 100 likes for some giveaways. So, if you get 100 likes in this video, first of all, that's goaded. Second of all, if you're new, drop the sub. And, yo, we keep hitting like goals. I'll just keep throwing out MT methods at you guys. I'll keep helping you guys and whatnot. So please drop that like. It means a lot. And also, like I said, drop the sub, turn on noties and all that good stuff. So, yo, right now, we got a lot to talk about, all right? So first off, the market still kind of crashed. It's so annoying, bro. I just want to see the market rise a little bit. It's rising a little bit. Cards are slowing down. Not a lot of cards are going on the auction right now, which is good news. But yeah, without further ado, yo, I made the video. If you just sell your cards and whatnot, go check that out. It will help you. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the auction. I do think Spotlight content is going to drop today, so hopefully it does. But uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so low budget snipe filters. We're going to get into this. This one is going to be awesome. I'm going to start off with the best one, in my opinion, first. And this one, bro, if you don't have 10K MT... You need help. I'm sorry to say. Like, you need to get at least 10K. If you can't get together 10K, I actually feel bad. I literally feel bad. Like, you got to get together 10K MT to at least snipe something. So, get together 10K MT or at least even 5K MT. Start from there. So, that's all I'm going to say. These do include MT. You need at least 5K, 10K MT to do these filters. That's number one. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first off, bro, in my opinion... The most money filters are going to be off the Amethyst and Diamond filter. I'm going to show you why. So, let me show you. So, Amis first off. Right now, we got Shaquille O'Neal Amethyst for the low, low. He's still in packs. He's not going to be in packs when I post his video. But, Amethyst Shaq has a lot of value. He's low-key a top center. I'm not even kidding. He's actually comparable to his Pink Diamond. Um, He really is. So, what you want to do... Is you want to sit on this filter. You kind of got to know your prices. But this filter right here is really, really good. Pretty much anything other than Bobby Jones. So, like, what you want to do. Okay, I'm sorry. What you want to do is see all these players right here. You just want to avoid all these players. So, try to keep these players in the back of your head and avoid them. And, honestly, if you get any Amethyst 20s on this filter, you're going to make MT. So, pretty much what you want to do. If you're new to this game, you want to put your max bid to whatever as long as it's over the buyout and just simply keep refreshing on this filter and just look for any card that looks sellable. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty easy method, honestly. Like You literally just have to sit here and do this. And once something pops up that is actually sellable, it's that simple. Like literally, oh, like right there, I can make a quick 200 MT. Like if you have no MT, it's something. Oh, right there. I missed it. Okay, so right there, Shaquille O'Neal, 1,000 MT. He's going for around 3K. So I would have made 1,700 MT that fast. 1,700 MT in like one minute, okay? That's pretty solid. If you get 1,000 MT per minute, 10 minutes, that's 10K. If you have no MT, that's a really, really solid method. Now we're going to get into the next one. This one, actually, I think that's a snipe. Um, This one is actually, ooh, that's a snipe too. No, I botched it. Got that. Okay. Just got two other snipes on that filter. That's solid. So, next up. This filter is really money. This is my favorite filter in the game. It's simply Diamond Filter. It's so money. Um, first of all, if you have no MT, the best thing is trying to snipe the Donovan Mitchells and Earl Monroe because they're so spammed. They're the cheapest diamonds in the game. As you can see, Donovan Mitchell going for $29.50. And all these were posted seconds ago, minutes ago. So, if you want... You could try to snipe out Donovan Mitchells. Um, he keeps getting posted quickly. You could pick him up and sell him for around 3K. But yeah, snipes constantly keep going up. So I would definitely recommend trying this filter. This filter was really, really good during the locker codes. 
And another tip for you guys, when I drop a locker code video, if they drop like a sellable card, you want to get on that quick because whenever they drop in a locker code, the price fluctuates quickly and you can make a ton of MT off that one locker code card. So right there, that Roman Rell for 3200 I can sell them for like 36 I won't make that much money. But as you can see, bro, this Snipe Filter, if anything pops up other than Donovan Mitchell or Earl or Earl Monroe, it's straight money. Now, the next filter, this one's pretty good. Personally, I don't like it that much, but supposedly it's really consistent. I don't know. I don't really use it that much. But it's simply 550 buyout and maximum bid, whatever you want. Oh, right there. I botched it. I botched it. There we go. So I just got him for 550. He actually goes for around 1,000. So right there, I'm going to make a quick 400 MT. Now, this filter supposedly works really well. Um, 550, keep refreshing the maximum bid. This is a very, very low caustic snipe filter. And honestly, I think it's going to be really, really good. I hope you guys do try this out. This should be a really money filter. And yo, I've seen pink diamonds go for 550, bro. Some kids accidentally put up their cards for 500. So if you're doing this filter, you could possibly get pink diamonds for the low, low. And if you end up getting them for the low, like you're lit, like straight up. If you get anything, a diamond or anything for 500 MT, you're dubbing out, bro. Someone's going to post something. You just sometimes got to be patient. This filter is really, really good. Really good. Really, really good for low cost uh, snipe filters. And uh, next up, this is for people with at least 20,000 MT. It's the pink diamond filter, man. It's pretty much the pink diamond filter. It's pretty freaking deadly. You can get a lot of cards from here. Um, honestly, this 16K Joe Dumars is pretty, pretty good price. You could probably flip them for around 20. Oh, another one, 15.4. So, personally, I would buy both of those out and put them up for 20. And uh, as you can see, one of them just sold. Um, but yeah, you could honestly snipe on this filter. This filter is pretty good. If you have like 15K MT, it's a pretty solid filter. Also, silver filter is decent. Um... Silver filter, heat check filter, if you have very low MT, it's pretty solid. But honestly, I think you're going to have to put it to current 20. So I would recommend putting it to current 20. Actually, hold on. Let's see how low these go. All right. Honestly, 1,000. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. No, we botched. Good. We botched. All right. Yo, as you can see, this filter is clearly popping. So... Silver filter, maximum bid. There we go. This is it right here, man. This filter supposedly is good. I literally just missed a ton of snipes in a second. So you can get some rare silvers. But no, this filter could be pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Also, wait, I'm sorry. I have to show you this filter for low cost. Dude, Amethyst 20 or Amethyst Moments is straight money as well. Dude, the Amethyst 20 still have value. Like the Amethyst James Harden. Diamond this Paul George. So like 3,900 Harden. I honestly think I can make some decent MT off that. 3,900. So if you get over 3,900, you can make... Oh, that's a snipe. That's a snipe right there. And honestly, if you pick up this card, you could also make another 400 MT. But I just got Durant for 5K. I think he's around at least 6. But yo, these are low budget snipe filters. You're sometimes not going to make a lot of money. So like you have to bear with me. Like you're not going to get a lot, a lot of MT. But I just got that KD for 6K. I just got two KDs for 6K. I'm going to sell them for 7.5. I'm going to make 1,200 off each. So real quickly, man. We actually sniped out a, top, a couple cards. And it's pretty money. Also, I'm sorry, bro. There's a lot of snipe filters in this game. If you have a, a little extra MT as well, um, I would head over to Moments. And I would try sniping one of these cards in the Levine set, bro. These cards are worth thousands and thousands of mt i sold a ton of my sapphires for 20 kmt so i sold this guy right here for 19 kmt so this guy for 20 kmt as you can see bro these cars are worth a lot if you do end up getting one for the low low congratulations you're gonna make a ton of ton of mt and they do sell i sold my whole entire set i had the whole set i wanted to lock in levine but i pulled out and yeah man these sets are pretty pretty solid i would definitely recommend trying it but yeah, guys, that's really all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the Snipe Filters. I really do. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. Please come through for more content and whatnot. And like I said, if you have any problems with my sponsor, please let me know. I will hit them up on Twitter and let you guys know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.